What is going on everyone? It is foul play here and we are back for match number three of this modern league we're on the Daryl and are gonna be on the plane. We are versing Sean So so far uh, we just got like creatures and daybreak. This hand is not very exciting. There's no auras other than a daybreak so throw that one uh, This hand we could potentially go on on a dried arbor. It's pretty weak though. If I knew what I was worst versing, I might keep this, but in the blind, I think we can get a better five. Cool. Well, this does constitute uh, my better five. <laughs> we'll uh, keep this one. And bottom, a dried arbor, and... I don't know. Die risk. Uh, we'll be keeping this. Opponent is keeping a six. Driver definitely on drives definitely goes to the bottom here. It's between Misty Rainforest, Curious Obsession, Arcane Fly as to the other card that I want to bottom here. Um, obviously, if we draw land, uh, we can like use Curious Obsession to help us draw land. But if we miss on a land drop, that kind of sucks. Um, overall, I think I like doing this though. All right, good old spicy blue bogles. Like, I, I kind of wanted to keep, like, double land, double curious obsession there, but the, the problem in that spot is, obviously, um, if I need to have my evasion and I don't have it, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, right? All right, double curious on the bogle. Okay, and we, we hit our uh, third land drop and another arcane flight. Blue white control. Mm. I'd preferably like to get some tome armor down and then maybe draw a force of negation and just be able to hold up the force of negation. Oh, that is a good one though. That is a good one. Mull to five does not matter. Oh, opponent responding to this one. So the way they're fetched indicates just blue white. There's the mana leak. Yeah. Has our opponent got the force of negation as well? I was gonna say, it looks like they might, but they didn't uh, cast anything. There was definitely a pause though. Maybe a pause of frustration. Bogle staggering, okay. So obviously Daybreak Coronet there being an excellent aura because of the really, really fast clock that it gives. To Fairy Bounce, sure. Not like super happy about that, but it's also not the end of the world. Alright, so here I like staggering insight, attack my opponent for four. Uh, we'll put him all the way down to five. Uh, we obviously can't kill him this turn. Uh, this gives us three draws to hit Totem Armor. And also... Because I'm looking to hit the Hyena Umbra here. That's why I didn't play the Arcane Flight. No Force Negation, but we do hit the Hyena Umbra. Sweet. Well, I will cast that one. Um, well, we're definitely not flooded out on lands, but uh, a little bit creature flooded right now. A little bit creature flooded. Guess we've got a decent number of auras in hand, but definitely would uh, trade any of these creatures for a force negation in a heartbeat. All 
All right, go to combat. Oh, okay. So he's got jump lock at this point. Mm, I don't normally see blue white decks do that. If I played more aggressively with my arcane flight, uh, we obviously could have got past it. All right, let's make sure we don't get done by that next turn. We'll shock in the hallowed fountain, play the arcane flight, then we'll put Luris to hand. And then we'll pass the turn. Point it concedes. All right. Too good. Or something. All right. Well, uh, we brought in these fluster storms for pretty much this matchup. Teferi's going to be nice as well. And I guess Rest in Peace is reasonable. Bad cards being Path to Exile. I don't really like Core Spirit Dancer here, so I'm going to trim one. The reason I don't like Core Spirit Dancer is A Path and B Teferi. C Jace and D 5 Mana Teferi. So there's a lot of reasons why uh, Spirit Dancer is maybe a fragile creature. Other cards to remove for Rest in Peace. I think maybe one more Spirit Dancer. Maybe a land. Maybe we'll get rid of one of these Horizon Canopies. Might just get rid of a Windswept Teeth. So we'll leave in one Spirit Dancer, the Lucky Spirit Dancer. Uh, minus seeing like a Curious Obsession is okay as well. Uh, Curious Obsessions lose value as an aura, uh, because obviously if my opponent plays Cryptic Command, it falls off, right? Nope. <laughs> that is way too fragile. Alright, well this is actually better, although it's a one lander and I can't cast my auras. Uh, we are on the draw, we do, you know, have more chances to hit our land drops. And... Man, like, the problem with this hand is it's just not aggressive. Opponent uh, keeps a six. They, I, I'm going to test this off the strength of force negation, I reckon. See if he's got the mystical dispute here. That'd be quite interesting. Ah, uh, well, we stick our guy. To play around Snapcaster Mage here, we have to play the Hyena Umbra pre-combat. We could alternatively just attack there, actually. Uh, we could just, like, leave up Island, attack, bait the Snapcaster Mage chump lock, and then if he wastes the Snapcaster Mage, we just go Bogle and put Hyena Umbra on top of the Bogle. I don't miss a land drop. So now I've got white mana here, so I kind of feel okay about Sending a second creature to the board, maybe? Not really. No, I think it stays. Wow. How is he drawing nothing? Alright. Did you get the mana leak? Alright, well that was pretty good draw in that spot, but that's all fine. Ah, uh, Teferi actually disables my Lurus. I didn't think of that. Alright, he's hit white mana finally, so now we'll have finally have a match. Should 
Let's just go all in. Five damage is good damage, right? It's like weak to engineered explosives and that's it. If my opponent had explosives, they would have already put it on the board. They'd have to draw it this turn to make me regret it super hard. And even then we can just force a negation the explosives. Alright, well now we've just got double force. Attack our opponent to two. Spell Quell, sure. I would not have guessed that that was an inclusion in his deck from what I saw in uh, any of the prior games. All right, let's exile a Bogle. Get rid of that to Fairy. No card draw for you. So like our hand was super unimpressive. Our opponent's hand was just like even worse though. All right, we'll attack him to two. Force a negation back up. Arcane Flight loses like a little bit of value after seeing Spell Queller as well. Well guys, if you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel to see more. We have daily videos coming out here and it'd be great to have you around. Um, other than that, uh, have a great day everyone. I'll see you next time. Cheers.